Greetings, Desai the Great One himself, with a quick, quick. How many times have you heard that lie before? A quick anarchy moment. We'll see how that goes. Just recorded and released, stating the obvious 175 a little while ago, a couple hours ago. And right now, debating, do I continue being productive and working, or do I go make popcorn and watch Game of Thrones? And looking at my list of shit to do, that's nothing to do, I'm talking about. Okay, today, <laughs> whoa, focus, fucking shiny object, there goes the squirrel. All right, focus. Today, <laughs> this moment, what I'm going to talk about is... <sighs> Correlation does not equal causation. I'm going through the spam email I always get from LinkedIn telling me about what I should go read about this and that and whatever. And there's an article in here. Let me read this to you. And let's talk about correlation and causation and self-reporting and essentially how whenever somebody comes to you with some stuff about, well, an opinion poll or we did this survey, you know, or what the fuck ever... Again, this goes back to what I harp on all the fucking time, is critical thinking. How to look at information and analyze it. All right? Now, let's go through this. What's the name of this thing? This is on, this is on LinkedIn.com. It's written by John A. Bren, Byrne, B-Y-R-N-E. He says here that Fast Company and Business Week former editor is who this person is. The title of this is Your GPA Could Impact Your Income. Hold on a second. Are there comments on this? Uh, yeah, you know. Oh, here's somebody. I'm just briefly looking at the comments. Here's somebody who wrote, this is Brad Finley. He wrote, article title suggests causation when it comes to an effect on income while the content provides good evidence for correlation. Still interesting, but misleading title. It's so nice to know not everybody on the planet is stupid. Yes, here we go. The title is Your GPA Could Impact Income. As I'm about to illustrate, this is not true. This is a correlation. It is not a causation. Here we go. It's no secret that if you goof off in college and end up with a low GPA, you will probably kill your chances of going to an elite graduate school. But did you know that a lower GPA would likely cost you in salary and bonuses as well? No, you didn't know that because it's not true. We will subsequently explain why this is not true. All right, here we go. This certainly seems to be the case according to a new study of compensation in investment banking by wallstreetoasis.com. Okay, this is a study about compensation. It's limited to investment banking. So people in fields other than investment bank banking also have GPAs and they also get paid. So we've taken the entire planet Earth, 7 billion people, who all have a GPA of some sort or another, and we've now narrowed it down to investment banking people. Now this is constructed by constructed conducted by somebody called WallStreetOasis.com. I don't know who that is. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to even look to see. The point is, whoever they are, they have an agenda. All organizations have an agenda. Again, here we go. If you can prove me wrong, I'm inviting you to prove me wrong. Show me an organization that does not have an agenda. I'm not saying a left-wing agenda, a right-wing agenda, a statist agenda. I'm not saying what kind of agenda. I'm saying all organizations have an agenda. Show me an organization that doesn't have an agenda. I challenge you to do that. Okay, we've narrowed it down to investment banking people and it's conducted by a website business, organization, whatever it is that has an agenda. The study is based on the responses of 3,401 employees of both large and small investment banking firms who voluntarily reported their pay to the website. So it's limited to 3,401 people who work at investment banking firms and who are willing to voluntarily report their pay. So now we've narrowed this down to an even smaller group of people. Those who are willing to voluntarily report their pay. 
there's a lot of people in the United States who are still terrified to reveal how much money they make because there's a lot of small penis syndrome about that. And some of them don't make a lot of money because they're not worth a lot of money. Hang on a second. Shiny object. I have to look at Twitter. And, oh, it's this. One of my little hotties just tweeted. All right, anyway. What was I looking at? All right, here we go. Squirrel. All right, shiny object. Yes. Oh, my God. They're out today. There were... Never mind. All right, yes. There were three college girls in bikinis, and they had a cat with them. Three college girls in bikinis with a cat. Let the pussy jokes begin. All right, anyway. <clears throat> a third third year analyst made average total compensation $65,000 if the person's GPA was 2.8 or less. This is compared to 77,700 for a GPA 2.9 to 3.1, the GPA of 3.8 to 4.0, <clears throat> excuse me, pulled down an average total compensation of $1,115. 1,000 uh, $115,700. I'm telling you, I can fucking occasionally use the English language. A more than $50,000 a year premium over the 2.8 lower graduates. Then there's some more data here about how the same thing happens with undergraduates. Now, there is no evidence, Do you can find no evidence at all, that having the GPA is what gets them the amount of money they have. Now, I'm not saying it's not possible. I'm saying it's very unlikely. More likely is that the kind of person who would put the effort into getting a 3.8 GPA, and I don't know what kind of degree these people have. I don't know what kind of classes these people took. And I mean that in a sense like, are these for these degrees that they have, are they taking you know English classes? Are they taking mathematics classes? Are they taking engineering classes? Like, what is the complexity level of the classes the people here are taking? I don't know the answer to that question without doing research. But you're looking at people who have taken more or less the same body of classes, and you're saying, well, the ones who got 3.8s make $50,000 a year more than the people who got 2.8s. Is it because of their GPA? Or is it because their GPA is a reflection of the sort of person they are? The kind of person who's going to go balls to the wall and get a 3.8 is the kind of person who's going to go into the business world, into a free market world, into a business where, in theory, and I don't know a whole lot about investment banking other than it's incredibly corrupt because banking is corrupt. It's a wing of the state. And, you know, anyway, we're not, I've bitched about banking enough in the past. You can listen to that. Okay. But these people are going into, the, so you've got highly motivated people who get 3.8s and you've got very unmotivated people who get 2.8s. They go into the business. Well, the highly motivated people are, of course, going to make more money because they're going to create more value. Or even if they're corrupt, if they're highly, if they're highly motivated to corrupt, to be corrupt, ugh. English. It's my second language. My first language is fuck. I don't know. Highly motivated people going into investment banking are going to make more money because they're going to be motivated to make more money, whether they're making that money by creating value, whether they're making the money by being honest, whether they're making the money by serving the customers, whether they're making the money by embezzling, whether they're making the money by theft. I mean, you know, however they're getting more money, it's not because of the GPA, it's because of the kind of person they are. That is what I think is a hell of a lot more likely. This is a classic example of correlation. It is not causation. There is no fucking causation here. None. There is no causation between a GPA and how much money you make. Hmm. That, I'm, I'm being quiet because I'm reading to see if there's anything else here I even need to read and talk about or if I'm just done. Oh, wait. Okay, let me read this. Patrick Curtis, founder and editor of Wall Street Oasis, says this. This is a quote. GPA is a pretty good indicator of the bonus the analysis will receive. This seems to be true up until you get to about the high end 
the high, high end and the low, low end. I doubt it's because they know the GPA. No one is thinking of your GPA when they are deciding your bonus number. It's more about how hard you worked or whether you were a team player. Some of it has to do with selection bias. Higher GPAs tend to go to higher paying firms, higher paying firms, lower GPAs may be at regional banks that pay less." Unquote. So after I sat here and talked about selection bias and yada yada, basically he says the same thing you know, in saying that nobody knows and the people with higher GPAs go to places that pay more and boom, I mean, there it is. It's not the fucking GPA. Even the person who did the study admits that it's not the GPA, but of course the idiot who wrote this article isn't smart enough to figure that out, and so he titled it, Your GPA Could Impact Your Income. Even though the person who is the editor for the website that did the study pretty much right out says, you know, it's more about how hard you worked and whether you are a team player, and even though he says that, I doubt it's because they know the GPA. When you read shit, whether it's on the internet, whether it's in the newspaper, whether it's because, you know, what the fuck ever, when you're exposed to information especially coming from some fucking hack journalist like John Brin, who is from Fast Company and Business Week, who's you know an idiot journalist, and he's writing some shit on the internet. When you read this shit, do some critical analysis. Correlation is not, nor will it ever be, causation. 